Welcome back to a new episode of TBH. We're your hosts, Jay Specialist and Peter from TheBeerHeads.com. Let's get into today's episode. We're going to be reviewing a rarity beer. We can't wait to get into this one because it's from the Firestone Walker Brewing Company out of Pasta Robles, California. It is our 12.5% ABV um, uh, English barley wine. Barrel aged in numerous types of barrels from spirits to wine all the way to Firestone Walker's Union Barrel Retired System. Um, this is only a limited release. Can't wait to get into this one. It's their one and only Sakaba. Definitely getting that dark mahogany. Um, definitely some nice clarity in there. Not too much carbonation. One finger just khaki off white HL head. Nice bubbles on there. Some nice huge alcohol leggings. Definitely really, really nice. What are you getting on that? Definitely that those ruby, you know, that dark brownish ruby red color that's right through it. Um, a little bit of carbonation bubbles coming up. It's very few. <laughs> and that, like you said, the khaki head and the eggshell, you know, khaki-ish head with the leggings on the side. Looks wonderful, beautiful. Yeah, definitely huge alcohol leggings. This one. Man, every year, every <laughs> fucking year, without a shadow of a doubt, this thing is ridiculous. What are you picking up on this? Ah, that that bourbon, of course, <laughs> that delicious, delicious bourbon, but that great, you know, bready characteristic, the uh, coconut, a little bit of coconut, a little bit of of uh, raisin, a little bit, kind of a uh, slight date characteristic, you know, uh, just a soft, nice, subtle, dark fruit. Combined with that wonderful, you know, from the bourbon, of course, that wonderful kind of coconut, vanilla, uh, slight hint of molasses, and um, of course, I can't really smell any alcohol in it at all. It just smells wonderful. Yeah, definitely for me, you get this huge bourbon notes, almost like dip chocolate, bourbony cherries, um, just like you said, raisin fig, like a sweet residual sugar like quality, um, some toastiness, breadiness in here. Definitely vanilla, caramel, toffee, molasses, light qualities. Just real like sweet nose in this one. A little oakiness in there. But all in all, dude, this is just Bourbon Bomb City. Nicely balanced. Um, you still pick up that nice, you know, subtle uh, kind of minimal just yeast esters in there. Yeah, that English it, yeah, yeast. yeast, which is pretty nice in this one. It's kind of complex. Really, really huge. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Man, up front, a lot of dark chocolates in here. Um, the subtle roast, it's toastiness in there, bourbon, almost like a, a black licorice now. Um, just toastiness qualities, dip cherry, sweet residual, date, raisin, dark fruit, complexity, vanilla. The list can go on. Yeah, definitely. Um, what are you picking up on this one? Like you said, um, just, you know, in the sheer front of the palate it just it's a wonderful nice carbonation in it too that works really well where it doesn't look carbonated but it, when it comes across it kind of sweeps your tongue with the flavors of uh the dark fruits and cherries and they kind of hit you right in the front and they're it's nice and you know it's really it's of course it's sweet um but you know there's a nice little balance in the middle from you know the hops too which comes through and it kind of cleanses the middle of the palate and then the ending you know the finish and, and what brings everything together is that wonderful bourbon char you know that char kind of the oak and all the other barrels that this beer has been through just comes through and kind of sweeps sweeps the um, taste out at the end it kind of leaves this nice slow and lingering delicious you know like a sherry like yeah that was quality I was you know, say that right yeah, now. yeah it is very um, sherry -like. definitely nice definitely going to be super ageable yeah. um yeah sherry for sure if you're definitely going to get like a you know that wine like sherry vinous quality is going to just definitely pop out more with the age Definitely, this is fantastic. We're gonna be giving this one a 19 out of a 20, making this a solid A beer. Um, with a shadow of a doubt, this is just fantastic, no matter what. Um, it's crafted to the T of what bourbon barrel agent is all about, to you know, mix it with spirit barrels, wine barrels, and the union system. Everything throughout Firestone Walker's you know, barrel system just shines, it's fantastic. 
Um, the only reason why I'm not giving this an A plus beer and we're not giving it is because with time, this is actually going to taste better with age. Um, I, I see more sherry notes popping out. Um, a little bit of the alcohol is going to die down. You're going to probably get more darker chocolate qualities. And this is going to just be fantastic. As down, Sakaba is always a great beer. It's probably one of my favorite beers from their proprietary series for Parabola, Double DBA, and like hopefully once Bell & Merkin comes out. Um, final words. Grab it. If you don't got it, go get it uh, before it's gone. Yeah, most definitely. So, <laughs> if it you will, don't, it will be we gone. are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but other than that, like we yeah. always say, live, learn, and drink. Until the next time, you already know we're enjoying our beers because we're going to keep you drinking. We'll see you guys later.